I'm at Leicestershire Fire and Rescue, the first service in the country to invest in virtual reality. Their hope is that money will be saved by replacing some of the expensive traditional training techniques with VR alternatives. I've seen the, the demo and the fire looks quite intense, so I don't think it's going to be what I'm used to when it comes to virtual reality, which is just having a nice time. <laughs> Let's see. All the scenes in the training are scanned from the real world. For instance, this arson hotspot in Leicester is a good reference for investigators looking for clues. Is the inside of a destroyed smoke alarm? I just need to say, like, the environment is, like, I'm standing on ash. It feels very real. Teleportation. Oh, my gosh. OK, there's a body down there. If you enjoy your training, you're going to get more out of it. It's already been proven, there's a study in the United States, that if you train in the virtual reality environment, the retention rate is 75%. Most of my talks I do on road safety are PowerPoint. Retention rate, 5%. You know, so you can see why we're looking at this, because our training is going to be enhanced so much. And if you want to skip 10 seconds forward, you can do it on the controller. You can just skip forward, and so you can fast forward the fire. Mm -hmm. You remember from the scene you saw a minute ago, that TV monitor was completely melted. And you can see how it, how it physically affects things that it's not even burning yet. Yes. Then the idea is, obviously, as this stops, we didn't show the people putting out the fire, yeah. but you get the ability straight away to go dive back in the scene, and now you're in that, you're in yeah. that same burn scene. Yeah, seeing the impact of that fire is pretty remarkable. It moves quickly. It's an immersive experience, and the ability to, you know, uh, hold objects, uh, to photograph them, to mark them. We don't often see the initial development of a fire. And so th th there's, you know, for fire behavior and how a fire developed in a fire scene, it's useful from that angle as well, really. You know, uh, from a forensic perspective and training of, of, of new people in this field, I think it will be uh, invaluable. Part of the reason this experience feels so intense is the realism behind it. For Leicestershire Fire and Rescue, this was important that they move away from gamification and into real life. They've been working with a company called River to make this happen. The scenes are created using photogrammetry, both cameras and lasers photographing real life 360 degree scenarios up to thousands of times. We've seen how fire services are using virtual reality, but what about other first responders? Here at the Defence Science and Technology Laboratory, they're hard at work on how police might use virtual reality in their training. Number seven, Ferguson House. Call a report, sounds of a violent disturbance. Oh, okay. wow. screaming, I can shouting. see some feet already. So I don't think that, that people would expect to put the police and virtual reality together. Why is it so important that the police are interacting with technology in this way. You can replicate one-off events. So a one-off event, which is, could be a dangerous or hazardous environment, you can actually re recreate as a one-off. And people would never, ever get the opportunity to rehearse that. But in VR, we can. So we can give them that vehicle, we can give them that opportunity to do a one-off scenario and do it safely. We go, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to see if this woman is alive. She's obviously taken some pills. There's a heartbeat here. I can definitely see already how it could be used to, in the way that a lot of games are really, to, to open up your mind to possibilities around crime, why people may have committed criminal activities. Those kind of questions are definitely there already. Yeah. That was more enjoyable than the fire one, I think, which perhaps shouldn't be my takeaway, but I am um, like, oh, I could go back into that world, whereas the fire scene, I just wanted to get out. <laughs>